how many miles do you think you are in this country? Actually, I, I wouldn't predict something because, you know, if I would say, for example, 10, and when we will find 10, I'll say, yeah, it's it, but it might be more. So time will show. Demining it's a process of land release. So we are releasing suspected hazardous area and confirmed hazardous area. So essentially it uh, takes a lot of processes. Area might be released with such technologies like it can be cancelled with non-technical survey, it can be reduced with technical survey, and it can, can be fully cleared, so manually or mechanically. But in our context, manually. We need to check all the road, uh, whether there are some landmines or there are not. At the moment, it's pretty tough time for our country because we need to have all necessary equipment to start working. It's not only equipment for search or for manual demine in itself, it's also some medical equipment which we also have to have when we start working because in case of accident, we have to render first aid to casualties. But uh, also such obstacles as weather, you can see that it's pretty hot today and it takes a lot of energy and it dehydrates people and other obstacles. Mostly it's weather, I would say. Actually, on this road, uh, it was Russians, they tried to retreat here, you know, and as Ukrainian army was chasing them, Russians, they put at landmines just to stop uh, Ukrainians from chasing Russians. So it's nothing new in the world, you know, it's in every war, it's almost the same. So, so some people put landmines to protect themselves, some of them try to put landmines to make people, you know, avoid this area. For example, local people too afraid to come back to the settlements and to come back to normality. But in this case, it just was main. Uh, landmines which were placed to stop Ukrainian army from chasing Russians.